there folks and welcome to this P3D video. Lockheed Martin uh, just a few hours ago released uh, P3D version 3. I've decided to grab it and to share my initial thoughts with you. Um, just before we take off and explore uh, version 3, um, I have successfully uh, installed uh, Rex Texture Direct, uh, Rex Soft Clouds, and Albus FSI with Active Camera with absolutely no problems on version 3. Uh, I simply changed the path in the uh, configuration section and it's just, it works perfectly. So, um, some of the uh, main things uh, basically that uh, Lockheed Martin claims to have fixed is the VAS problem. And that means that the OOMs should not occur again. Now, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that that doesn't happen. Uh, I will share my settings with you at the end of the video. Uh, but let, let's go ahead and take off and just kind of play around with this a little bit and see what it, what it can do. Um, full power. Right. You're up. Now, let me tell you guys, it is smooth, just like 2.5, but there is something about the visual appearance in version 3 that makes it really awesome. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if just it's my feeling or, or there is something that has changed. But I will tell you that it, it actually looks very nice. I, I feel that there is an improvement uh, in terms of the um, of the visuals in, in this version. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and switch to external view and take a look. Well, it looks pretty much like uh, 2.5, and of course, this is the default uh, default texture, so there's no um, Orbex or or any other um, any other uh, add-ons for textures. These are the textures that ship out with um, with prepared uh, version three. It does, it does fly very smooth. Let's, let's do some turns here. Yeah. That is very, very smooth. Let's do some movement with the rudder. Again, very fluid. Rudder movement, very, very fluid. Very nice. Very nice indeed. That looks nice. The shadow definitely looks very nice right there on the mountains. That looks really good. Okay, let me go ahead and introduce some some weather. And let's see. Weather, uh, let's do major thunderstorm. That is a major thunderstorm. Wow. I can't see anything. Oh, I can't see anything. So. It looks like we're going through uh, going through a cloud. So. Alright. That probably wasn't a very good idea. Go ahead and 
change the weather to, um, let's see here, stormy weather, maybe? I don't think that has changed anything at all. It's all right. Okay, let's go ahead and change the weather back to fair weather. Okay, and let's do time preview. That's good. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, in terms of performance, um, it does appear to, um, it does, ap uh, performance appears to have improved. Um, because the settings I'm using are quite high in, in this video um, and I'll share the settings with you momentarily um, now is is it worth getting is this like is it worth getting uh, paying $199 to uh, for this license of um, prepared version 3 I believe so um, is it worth the investment now I'd probably wait um, because most add-ons um, still need to be updated before they can be installed into P3D. By the way, that includes the FS, UP, whatever, by P. Dawson. Um, it, it does install, but it won't allow you to register um, the, the module, and it tells you that uh, basically this version of P3D is, whatever, more than once. Um, the module can recognize or something like that so yeah, I would I would wait a little bit however this is actually I think the beginning of an awesome simulator um, so this is what I want to share with you guys um, basically for this video this version 3 um, and if you have any questions please do let me know look at that view that is absolutely awesome that is really nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. Okay, I can't wait to install some of the Orbex scenery um, and see how it looks and how the sim actually um, behaves and to really verify uh, the VAS, that the VAS problems have been fixed. Um, uh, so let me go ahead and show you the settings for this video. So you get an idea of what we're doing here. Um, where are we go? This way. So I've got um, FXA off four samples, eight uh, eight samples for texture filtering. The resolution is ultra. V-Sync is on. Triple buffering is on. Unlimited frames. For scenery, I've got everything maxed. For senior objects, everything maxed. Uh, water is on ultra. Special effects maxed. HDR now has uh, three different options, um, but there are more options in the config file. Uh, honestly, I haven't played with this yet, uh, but it looks like you can adjust the brightness, bloom, and saturation. Um, shadow quality is at medium, and I've got the um, terrain, uh, terrain can receive shadow, and I've set the uh, shadow cast distance and cloud shadow cast distance at 20 kilometers and the object shadow cast distance at 6 kilometers. Weather, I got it at 60 miles, uh, basically simply because I, um, I actually use Opus FSI to uh, set the, cl the cloud draw distance. Um, and everything else, uh, basically... Um, is default traffic absolutely everything is zeros 
Um, <coughs> I hope that you've uh, enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Uh, until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. My next video is going to be on uh, a tutorial on setting up um, X camera for um, X-Plane 10.4. Take care and bye-bye for now.